This is going to be our first lesson on plant tissues. These are going to be, we're going to talk about the simple tissues of plants. You remember, um, if you remember from biology class, that tissues are groups of cells that work together to do a job in an organ. So in this case, we're talking about plant organs. Plants have organs just like animals do. And um, within those organs, there are specialized tissues made up of certain kinds of cells that are working together. So we're going to talk about simple tissues of the plant um, in their organs, such as leaves, stems, and roots. So stems, roots, and leaves are all made of the same simple and complex tissues. In this lesson, we're just going to talk about the simple tissues. And there are four types of simple tissue. The first type is called epidermis. If you know anything about human body anatomy, you know that humans have an epidermis. Well, plants do too. The epidermis, just like in animals, covers surfaces of the plant. Its job is to protect against water loss and to protect against infection. So plants can get infections just like animals, humans can do, and they need to protect themselves. Epidermis looks like flattened cells that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. That's kind of what it looks like. And the cells of the epidermis secrete a waxy substance and that helps prevent water loss. So you've probably noticed that the outsides of plants sometimes feel a little bit waxy, that's why. Here are a couple of examples of epidermis um, in a plant. So you see the cells are somewhat flattened. You can see the nucleus here and the nucleus there. And then they kind of fit together tightly like a jigsaw puzzle. Here's another set of epidermal cells. You can see again the prominent nucleus fit together kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. And then this is the uh, epidermis of a leaf, and later on in the year we'll talk about what these little things are. They look like little mouths. Those are called stomata. The second simple tissue is probably the most common simple tissue in plants. It's called parenchyma. parenchyma. It makes up most of the soft growth of stems, leaves, flowers, and fruit. So when we look at a plant, most of what's inside is going to be parenchymal tissue, parenchyma. The cells of parenchyma are pliable, they're flexible, they're soft, and the cells itself have thin walls. Parenchyma cells will be the ones that divide, that allow for healing. So uh, they're the ones that, if the, if the plant is damaged, they're the ones that are going to uh, reproduce and form more cells to form a healing of the plant. In most plants, it makes up what's called the ground tissue, which is composed of cortex and pith, and we'll talk about that more later. This is what parenchymal cells look like. Um, they kind of look like blobs with thin cell walls. They're not as tightly packed as the epidermis was. Um, and so anyways, this is a diagram of the same things. Parenchymal tissue, parenchyma. The second type of simple tissue that makes up plants is cholenchyma. Cholenchyma provides more support, but it's support for softer tissues. So it's not as soft and pliable as the parenchyma. In cholenchyma, the cells are elongated their cell walls are thicker, and they're made of this substance called pectin, which makes them still flexible, even though they're thicker. And we'll talk more about pectin later. That's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, the cholenchyma makes up the veins in the stems and the leaves. So later we'll talk about complex tissues such as xylem and phloem, and you'll find that that is what makes up the vein. It's made of cholenchyma. Here are some examples of cells of um, cholenchyma tissue. This here, over here, is parenchyma, and over here is parenchyma. But along this center, see how the cells look different? You have thickened cell walls. They even look a little smaller to me. This section right here is cholenchyma, and this is a diagram of what that might look like, thickened cell walls. Finally, the last kind of simple tissue that we'll talk about is sclerenchyma. Sclerenchyma is, is the real support for plants, especially mature plants. So when you think of wood, bark, it's made of sclerenchyma. It's for support and protection. The cells are long and tapered and they have thick walls made of this stuff called lignin. And because they have lignin, it makes them tough and hard. Like, think about a coconut shell, it's made of sclerenchyma tissue. We use the fibers of sclerenchyma to make rope and cloth and paper. So if you're wearing cotton, you're wearing sclerenchyma tissue. This is what sclerenchyma tissue looks something like. Notice that the cells are very thickened cell walls made of lignin. And if we were to actually look at this, it would probably, we would say it was wood or something like that. Here's a diagram of what that looks like.
So those are the main um, tissue types of simple tissue in plants, epidermis, parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma.